Dear 18-year-old JC, you got your head in the clouds if you think the next four years are going to be a walk in the park. Seriously though, you got a lot that's about to be put on your plate once you walk through those gates. Be ready to be pushed to the max physically and mentally. You might have been the guy back in high school in a small town, but none of that stuff matters here. It's a whole new start, a whole new journey that you're about to embark upon. So if there's one thing I need you to do, is to shut up, put aside your ego, and read this. When I tell you academics is nowhere near as easy as it was in grade school, I mean it. Be ready to stay up till one o'clock in the morning just to get assignments done. Be ready to have to manage your time much more seriously as well since it will be the most valuable thing to you. Be ready to open up your mind to all the skills and lessons you will be taught in all aspects. Just be ready. For sports, you got what you asked for. This is what you've been training for after school to get to this level. All I would say is, take it seriously. You're back to level one because everyone, and I mean everyone, is good. They were all sent here for a reason. So make the most out of your opportunities because you may not get a second one. For friends, you're going to meet guys that you'll be friends with for a long time. They will most likely be godfathers to your kids in the future. They'll have your back no matter what, which I'm not really worried about your social abilities. You know how to differentiate between the bad and the good ones. Just remember to be yourself because your friends will appreciate you more for doing that than being someone you're not. Lastly, never quit. I'd be lying if I told you there wasn't a point during my four years at West Point where I just wanted to leave and just go to a regular college like our friends from high school. But you have to remember, us being here is bigger than us. We're not just doing it for ourselves, we're doing it for our parents, grandparents, uncles and aunts, and friends back home. We're doing this to set an example for our little cousins since they've been looking up to us since they were born. I can't emphasize this enough. You have to see the bigger picture. I know you have the resilience in you because we have been through hard times, but that doesn't mean that they won't keep coming. I love you, bro. You got this. Yours truly, Second Lieutenant John Christopher Watson.